So Quirky Campers is a handcrafted camper van hire agency. Um, we're the only one in the UK and do you know, I'm not sure if I even know of a single other one in the world. So um, sometimes the easiest way to explain it is we are like an Airbnb for campervans, except that we are very, very picky. So we only allow um, the highest quality and the most beautiful and unique campervans to rent out through our website. So we had converted our own camper van, Bella, the original quirky camper, many years ago. Um, and we were actually going away to live in Kenya for six months. And the, the whole sharing economy idea was just getting off the ground. So it immediately occurred to us that we might be able to rent her out to kind of cover the costs while we were away. Um, but all we could find were VW rental agencies and motorhome rental agencies. And nobody who was doing what we did, which was this kind of crazy wacky carved wood camper van with a wood burner and you know all sorts of quirky features uh, a washing machine door as a window at the back and anyway um but we figured there must be other people like us who wanted to have that kind of camper van um so we started quirky campers and it turned out that we were right so in our first year we already booked her out for 120 nights or something um, and started to get requests from other people who owned beautiful camper vans to see if they could list with us as well. So it's just kind of grown very organically from there. So we are all about um, promoting craftsmanship and um, it's really exciting to us that there's all kinds of traditional um, skills that get used in the conversions of these camper vans. Uh, from the upholstery to the carpentry to, uh, you know, kind of interesting um, metal features. Um, you know, there's also, we're, we're really excited about reuse and recycling and upcycling. You know, uh, one of our vans is 90% reclaimed materials and most of them use some degree of reclaimed materials. Um, but it's also important that it's really beautiful, you know, we want each of our vans to be totally beautiful and totally unique. Um, so not only are you having this kind of wild adventurous experience, but you're doing it in this kind of boutique hotel on wheels. So we wanted a logo. Up until that point, um, we had been operating without a logo. We just kind of had our name in a font, but we wanted something that could be used in different ways. Um, so that was what we were coming to you primarily for, um, but also because we wanted some business cards done. Um, and I think it was recommended through a friend. And the thing that really appealed to me, I couldn't imagine commissioning a designer and kind of agreeing that we were going to pay them for a logo without, you know, being able to decide whether we liked the logo or not. Um, so the idea that we could kind of go through this process of whittling it down and working with a number of designers was really appealing to us um, and I was really proactive in uh, seeking out the designers that I really wanted to put forward designs for us and I was really lucky in that a lot of them um, took it up so I was really chuffed with that and then a bit later on down the line I actually used uh, one of the runners up to design our flyer um, because I really liked what they'd done and they'd been great to work with, but we had ended up choosing an, a different logo for the final thing. But um, I knew that I would go back and work with them for future projects. Yeah, this is an interesting one. I think the really big lesson for us has been um, don't dilute the brand and to really stay true to what we are really excited and passionate about. So our growth has been slowed, not by um, a struggle to find customers, which has never been an issue for us, um, but just by finding the most beautiful, high quality, original camp fans. Um, so we probably turned away 75% of the people that have got in touch with us uh, wanting to rent out a camp van through us. So we could have grown much faster by just saying yes to everybody, but we kind of kept checking in with ourselves and saying, yeah, but, but is that what we want to do? You know, just kind of rent out any old camper van. And it wasn't, that wasn't what inspired us. What inspired us was, yeah, promoting really stunning um, craftsmanship and creativity. I can show you a few um, photos of some of our... 
vans because we've got some large prints because wherever I go, people just want to see pictures of the vans. Um, cabin porn, they call it. Yeah, I want <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So that was Magic Mike. This is Priscilla, the outside and the inside. Uh, this is Sophia, who's just been launched, who's got this incredible um, graffiti work on the outside. Again, you know, kind of um, just really stunning creative uh, artwork. And then has this stunning um, recycled palette interior. Uh, oh, this is a picture of me and my husband in our house. And here's some of our gorgeous owners who are a lovely and eclectic bunch. Um, this is Freya, who's an old Mercedes Luton um, and has been owned by two generations of circus performers and has a, has a real circus feel about her. Um, here's Constance, one of our most popular bands. This is her away uh, last winter. I'm not sure where this photo was taken, possibly Norway. She went on a very long adventure across Europe. Um, and again, a stunning wooden interior. Anyway, I could go on and on, but I would strongly suggest if you like camper vans or even cabins or tiny homes, um, definitely check us out on any of our social media channels on Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram. Um, just loads of, even if you're never going to rent one, just go and look at them, honestly. It's, it's, <laughs> it's worth it. It's a lot of fun. Um, or obviously at www.quirkycampers.co.uk.